Do you guys remember our crazy Russian cousin Lunar? Well, I made a video about him a couple months ago, and needless to say, he has absolutely dipped off the planet until a few days ago. But all those months ago, he took this scene by storm one day, bought 13 Titan Hollows, which you can't really find any information on anymore because he deleted most of his past tweets, but he also decided to buy about 200 pairs of gloves because he thought he was the next Warren Buffett. And needless to say, this didn't work out too well. But Either way, we'll get into that in a second. But just before that, as we always do, be sure to subscribe if you enjoy and check out my sponsor, Skimport. Are you looking to start your collection of 200 plus pairs of gloves just like our friend Lunar? Well, be sure to buy those gloves on Skimport instead of Steam Market if you do because for example, with Moto Gloves Polygon, you're going to be saving $80 compared to the cheapest on the Steam market right now, and you can use that $80 save to buy another pair of gloves, just like our friend Lunar. But seriously, you can also sell skins on Skimport for real money as well. There's tons of skins sold every day, and yours will get sold quick, and that money will turn into cash even quicker. So be sure to sign up to Skimport today with that link in the description. But for now, let's get right into the video. So first of all, let's talk about the CSGO career of Lunar from start to finish. As an investor, he started off really strong to be honest, with his 13 Titan Hollows that he completely deleted all evidence of. Lucky for us, Google still shows that the tweet existed at one time, but if you click on the link it says it's been deleted. He's also private to the Steam profile, so it's impossible to see if he has them in his inventory, but we know he got rid of them, which we'll talk about later in the video, but all you have to know is he owned them at one point. The best screenshot I could find is where he owned 8 of them. Lunar also owned a ton of top tier knives, top floats in the world, rubies, sapphires, black pearls, along with some other miscellaneous top tier items such as the number one float op prints with 4 Cato 14 Dignitas Hollows and a Stat Track Factory new triple zero float AK Vulcan with 4 Titan Hollows. Keep in mind the skin because we are going to touch on it later in the video quite a bit. But he owned a lot of other really unique skins as well and had a really good collection of top tier items going. For some reason, these are some of the only tweets he has left up on his Twitter account. And I think the only ones he really deleted skin wise were the ones showing off his howls, princes, going nears, and stuff like that. But either way, his Steam inventory was, I believe, the number one in the world by far, at least the number one public one. And was valued somewhere around 2.3 million dollars. I don't know a lot about this guy, but all I can confirm is that he's Russian, and I've heard people say he's a Russian oligarch, a drug dealer, maybe it's Pablo Escobar's long lost Russian brother, but who really knows, this guy is pretty mysterious. Now where things started to go downhill is where this guy started losing his mind on Twitter, stating first of all that he was here to quote, move the CSGO economy forward, which I'll talk about a bit more specifically later, but this guy was actually beefing with anyone and everyone that crossed his path in both CSGO and Twitter, along with trying to, I don't know, just be the ruler of the CSGO economy because this guy kind of went insane, but I can't even read some of these tweets because they'll probably get this video demonetized. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any of them besides the ones I had here screenshotted from the last time I made a video on him, but this guy was a menace and would not take any criticism at all from anyone. But unfortunately for him, criticism is what he would be receiving a lot of because he is really stupid to put it bluntly. So. With that being said, let's take a closer look at his Glove Empire fiasco and how it ended up being, I guess, part of his downfall. It's not even really his entire downfall. But Lunar had this weird obsession with buying gloves like the Black Ties and Blood Pressures, specifically in minimal wear and factory new versions, so incredibly rare and limited gloves. He was aiming to get 100% of the supply in the world because... He was under the impression that this would give him the ability to sell them at any price he desired. And I mean, if you have 100% of the supply of something, I guess that's true. But the thing is, he wasn't patient enough at all with any of these gloves. And nobody really likes these gloves, to be honest. And he wanted to sell all of them weeks after deciding this. He listed 11 pages of these gloves on buff for what you would think to be to sell all of them. But he ended up actually unlisting them all. He li listen, he listed 11 pages of these things on buff just to unlist them all like within a day later. 
and then he ended up buying even more of these gloves at higher prices than he listed his own at. Now, what ended up with all of his gloves, I actually have no idea at all. I can't imagine selling that many pairs of gloves as an easy process, but maybe he did it. His Steam profile is once again private right now and has been for many months, so it's not possible for me to check. But what I can tell you is that a Chinese CSGO collector by the name of Cat, I think I'm saying that right, he bought all 14 of his Titan Hollows for $550,000 after this whole glove fiasco and gave 6 to a guy named Mango Duck, which makes sense because Metal Cat only has 8 of them in his storage unit account right now. Also, Lunar had supposedly been buying these Titan Hollows at $60,000 US dollars a pop, so he lost hundreds of thousands of these if he saw them at the price and got them all for 60 k on average. Metalcat also apparently helped Lunar sell his 4 times Titan Hollow Craft with a current offer starting at 950,000 Chinese Yen, which is about 150,000 USD. And from what I remember, Lunar bought this AK for like 225,000 USD. I don't have a screenshot of it, so don't 100% take my word for it, that's just my memory from months ago, and I can't confirm it because I can't find a screenshot of it, but I'm sure he sold it at a loss since he definitely didn't have it for more than a few months time and kind of just wanted to quick sell it from what it seems. Overall, from what I've heard, Lunar moved back into crypto with the remaining money he had from selling all of these items, even though it was had a huge loss, it was hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably millions actually, and apparently he got a lot of his money off crypto since he invested in Bitcoin when it was at $400 and sold at at least $5,000 according to a CS Money interview, so this guy should be completely fine money wise, but if he invested it back into Bitcoin at the end of October, which from what I've heard apparently he did, he just took all of this huge investment money that he got from the Titan Hollow AK Vulcan and whatever else he ended up selling and put it back into crypto, Bitcoin was worth $60,000 at the end of October and now it's around $40,000. So. He would have lost over 30% more money on the money he already lost while investing in CSGO at this point. And although it seemed like this was the end of Lunar's story up until a few days ago, on January 11th, just 3 days ago, he tweeted for the first time in months, stating long time no see and just shilling for NFTs for some reason, just to get ratioed by a guy named Hobshy replying with an upside down titan hollow that looks like an L. And now Lunar has since deleted that tweet and might have to take another break after that one because I would not want to show my face after that. So to me, it doesn't really look like the story of Lunaris 3000 is over at all, and I for one think we're definitely going to be seeing more of him in the future, and I really want to know what happened with all the gloves, and is this guy still holding on to any of the items he currently, or I guess used to own? And is he going to come back and buy millions of dollars of skins? Has he gone bankrupt with crypto crashing like 33%, and with all of his skins crashing in price and him just selling them for hundreds of thousands of dollars in loss? This guy is just bleeding money, like 2021 this guy probably lost like 3-4 million dollars just in CSGO skins and crypto alone, but I really hope to see more of this guy because it's honestly hilarious how honestly insane he is. But besides that, I think that is gonna wrap it up for this video, so as always, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, but for now, I'll see you guys next one, peace.